Hi, welcome to uh, Amplify Trading. This is a quick introductory video to, um, well, show you and show off our upgrade, our latest piece of kit, which is CQG Q Trader. Um, something we're we're very excited about, as it's a big improvement on the CQG trading platform we've been using, and much closer to um, the ultimate in professional trading software, CQG Integrated Client. It comes just one bar below that. Um, key features of QTrader is that we can have the charting in the same package as we have the ladders, so you don't have to flip between programs. Also, you can chart um, pretty much any product you like. Unlike other charting programs, you're not limited to what you can view or what you can see. Um, and it's also a much, much more detailed program in terms of technical analysis, in terms of quantitative analysis, and the tools that you can use within here it's, uh, it's leagues above, so we're very excited about this. So first of all, um, you would have received an email, um, something like this from Amplify Trader, which asks you to please install the QTrader platform here. All I'd like you to do is click on this link, and the download will start on the bottom left hand side of your um, email window. Um, follow the uh, install instructions, and Take, it can take about five minutes or so, it's quite a big program, but soon you'll have this pink icon on your desktop. Okay. So if you just click on that link, follow the instructions, you'll have this pink icon on your desktop. Before you do anything else, the next thing I would like you to have on your desktop is the setup. Now, one of the advantages of this uh, QTrader platform is we can already have the most optimal um, settings and setup and analysis tools actually put onto your system wherever you are um, ready for you to go so you can just click and play basically um, so this second link I'd like you to, to follow that and a, uh, a web page will open that looks something like this saying say thanks to Jack Christensen um, well, you don't have to do that but you do have to hit the download QTrainee Trader 2013.zip. Okay, so just click on that download, and then this will download a file as you can see, bottom left, similar as it did with QTrader. And I don't want you to run anything here, what I want you to do is just drag across to your desktop, just like that. Okay, so on your desktop, you've now got two pieces of kit QTrader and QTrainee Trader. Okay. <coughs> So, that's the hard bit done, really. Um, the, the software is installed on your, on your computer. And now what I'd like you to do is double click on your QTrader icon to start the program. Okay, when you've clicked on the uh, pink icon, you're gonna be asked for your username and password. Now, this is gonna be referred to as your QTrader username and password, okay? Unlike um, CQG Trader, where you just have one uh, code to get into the system, here with QTrader, you need to have a password to access the technology first as it's um, quite valuable stuff and then you're going to have a password to access the markets whether simulated or live. So username and password might be something like QT1 or QT3 or it might be something like Amplify QT um, but it will be referred to as your QTrader username and password. So please put them in um, and select remember my password so you'll never have to type it in again and just hit log in. Okay, so when you've uh, logged into the platform, you're gonna be faced with a, with a screen that might look something like this. It might be full of um, things you've not seen before and look quite complicated. That's fine. Don't touch anything for the moment, okay? Um, what I would like you to do now is follow the, this, this procedure. I'd like you to hit system. import exports pages and components and this is where you're going to import that other file that I place on your desktop that has the trading desk setup um, that we'd like you to use so let me cover that again you just click system just there system import pages and components I'd like you to import all settings click next desktop that's where you're going to have your file. And then choose 
Q Trainee Trader 2013. Double click on that zip file that you've dragged across onto your desktop. Please make sure you want to replace your current settings. You'll have this warning size. Yes, you do. You want to get um, a screen that's going to be familiar to you. So please hit OK. And when you've hit OK, um, CQG QTrader will reset itself and um, load up again automatically. And in the meantime, you'll have uh, a settings export import file that says success. Um, your settings have been imported successfully and a new QTrader will be uh, loading up right now. Now, depending on your screen and your, your setup, it might be different from each one. What I'd like you to do, please, is move the, the ladders, if they've appeared on the left or the right, is just move them across like this. Move your ladders across to the left-hand side of your screen, and you can see there we're going to be looking at three trading ladders. You can adjust these slightly as you like. You can see very nice, clear ladders with uh, great DOM, DOM traders. All the settings will be ready for you. Move the charts across as well. So you've got a main, a main chart here that we're going to be looking at. So the chart should take up a amount of screen similar to this. Now this is quite important, the price X alerts. You might not have seen it before, but I'd like you to move that across as well and then move the quote board to okay so you're gonna have a, uh, a setup similar to this you can just fiddle around with it if you like you can make the ladders slightly more narrow if you wanted but the explanation behind the ladders like this for you guys is very clearly we're going to be looking at these multiple assets all at all at one time so you're going to be looking at um, these ladders on the left to show the equities these ladders in the middle show the currencies, and these ladders on the right show commodities and the bund. Okay, so a relatively simple start to the program. Okay, so you might have something like this. You might, might just need to fiddle with it slightly depending on your screen and your resolution. Okay. Now, what is different between uh, CQG Trader and Q Trader? is your main um, window board here that opens up. I've taken all your charts and ladders outside of the main window um, but the main window board is still here and I'm going to go through the use of this um, window in more detail as we go through as we go through this, this program but you can make more use of the room that you have on your screen by um, not having by having these uh, charts and this ladder um, if you like on top of this window so so you might want to just leave that on the bottom right hand corner um, the, the main ladder some, something like this okay so just move that window just to have, have it on your screen just like this so now what I'd like you to do is log in log in to the trading platform. You've logged into CQG, but now you need to log into the trading platform. So to do that, just click on a ladder to, to make, make the ladders active. It, they should say offline at the top. And then you can see this button here that says log on. What I'd just like you to do actually before that, um, cl close that window, what I'd just like you to do before that is click setup and make sure that demo trading is not ticked and connection preference says demo.cqgtrader.com. It should do. I just want to want to make sure that that's uh, that's the case here. So set set up. Make sure demo trading is not ticked and connection preference says demo.cqgtrader.com. Okay. Then you hit log on and you'll be asked just as in CQG Trader for your Amplify ID. So here I'm going to be logging in with Amplify 11 and my password and I hit OK. And here we are now logging in to this sim ladder. This is I'm logging into the, the simulated environment.
As this is an introduction to get people logged into the simulated environment, I'm not going to cover logging into the live environment here now, which would just have a slightly different connection preference. Um, I'll go through that with you when you go live. But here you see you've got the chart on the right. Might just take a while, get used to playing, play, placing those horizontal lines. Um, chart on the right, you've got the quote board here, and this quote board is great. These are all the products. I've put the main products here that you can view at any one time. So we've got E-mini S&P, Eurostox, DAX, 10-year, um, Mini Dow, uh, the DAX again now, Euro USD, Aussie Dollar, Swiss Franc, Pound, 10-year US, Bund, the Italian debt, uh, Italian 10-year gold, oil, silver, Brent, oh, corn, wheat, and um, oil. I think that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's oil. Not, not, not as in agricultural product oil, not the commodity. Sorry, soy, not oil. Okay. But you're probably not going to be trading wheat, corn, and, and, and soy too aggressively. Um, but I'm going to be sending out a sheet that details what all of these products are as well. So I've got access to all of these different, different products to, to chart and to have on the ladder. What I'd like you to do now is move your hotcom window. This is if you've got one screen. Move your hotcom window here. So you're never, miss, never missing what's going on, the, going on in the hotcom room. Really important to have that up um, and open and active and clear at all times. That's obviously our main way that we communicate with you. And then the other space um, that you can see here is if you go onto our, our website for the on-air live market commentary for the, for the live news feed, You'll have a pop-up window such as this. Do click listen to audio. And I'd like you to hit compact view. And if you hit compact view, a smaller box like this will open. And we can just make sure we don't miss any of the news as well. So I'm just going to move that slightly across like this. minimize this window for now just by clicking on the, on the hotcom window behind it okay and here you have it this is this is this is the trading setup we'd like you guys to use okay so I'll just reset these ladders I'm just going to move that um, CQG window just behind, just behind the uh, the quote board there. Won't need it too much. Okay, guys. So let me go through again. You've got the E-mini S&P, DAX, Euro stocks. So equities on the left, currencies in the middle, and commodities and the Bund on the on the right. Now this is where it gets good. If you want to chart anything, just press on the chart and double click. For example, DSXH, and the Euro stocks chart will come up. Double click, for example, DA6 and the Aussie dollar will come up. Double click, for example, FBTPH and the Italian 10 year bond will come up. Double click SIEH and we can look at silver. CLEH and we can look at gold. And of course, you can um, have the same codes looking, at, looking on your ladders as well. Now, obviously, being with Amplify, we're going to um, encourage you to trade through um, specific products at specific times. Um, but this is a great, great platform, and it really um, takes takes your trading to a, to a more professional level. And one thing to note on this, although you can chart everything and anything, CQT Trade will allow one chart open at any one time. So let's say, for example, you're trading the E-mini S&P. You might, at the same time, be looking at the pound and, and, and oil on your ladders here. This is your E-mini S&P chart. You can chart the S&P, you can chart oil, or you can keep your S&P chart up here, for example, if you've got your technical analysis on the S&P chart. And you can see the short-term price movements in the other assets. And then if you want to view those other assets, just here's the US 10-year, for example. Just click on them from the quote board. Okay. Now, in terms of really getting, getting to grips with the detail of this program, the best way to add technical analysis is to right click and hit add study 
So right click and add study and you can see all the different um, technical indicators here. That, that's the best, that's the easiest way um, to use it. One thing I would like you to add uh, onto your chart, which you might find um, quite interesting. You can choose basic studies, current studies, all studies, and it's a huge amount. But this is really interesting, is order display onto your candlestick. So here I've got, I've added my order display. And the reason why this is good, much as you might have seen me do um, for yourself on integrated client, is if I buy one contract in the S&P, you'll get a beep sound. And it, the chart is gonna record where I have entered and exited my positions and it can really, really help on your, on your review. Otherwise, the ladders guys um, work exactly the same as uh, CQG Trader. And um, in terms of specific ladder functionality, um, if you would like to have a catch up with that, that will be coming in the next video. Okay, all the best. I uh, hope this is clear and obviously we're in the rooms and uh, available to, to help with anything that you would like. Good luck. I hope, uh, hope you can enjoy the system. Bye-bye.